Hi, uh, Wacker again. Uh, you've already seen this, uh, but previously when I've been uh, recording these videos, I didn't realise there was an F9 function. And thanks to Paolo, I now know there is. Um, I didn't have this menu stretched across, and you can see there's a real lighting. So this is the lighting of the game and how it will look without having to compile it, and it's in the editor. I can't say what a revelation this is for me. Um, I'm more excited than I was yesterday and the opportunities now are endless. Um, I did briefly go over uh, how the SSI works and how you can change the uh, light and effects within the map. So if we just have a quick look around here, you know, this is in the real time lighting environment. It's looking quite nice. Uh, I haven't got my shadows sorted down on this particular um, construct at the moment but as a test it, it's doing okay but what we can do uh, we can do some really weird funky stuff um, so I'm going to drop into the asset editor again now if you remember I talked about the SSI now this affects how the lighting works against the skybox you're using so I have um, copied the MP sector and I've got my own called MP sector whacker uh, the reason for this is I didn't want to use the uh, default ones and mess around with them, although you can actually uh, reset them um, back to their default values. So I'm just using a basic skybox, um, but I'm going to do something a, a little bit weird. I'm going to go, do you know what, I'd like to have a bit of a pink colour thing going on here, so let's go over here, uh, let's click OK, and here's the colour I now have. I'm going to click save. Now do you remember I said it would real-time update into the editor, so if I just jump into the editor we now have some disturbing colours going on. Uh, what it does enable you to do, if you're not sure what you want to have, whether you want it slightly in the evening, early day, whenever, whatever time of day you want it, or you want to create some really weird funky effects for whatever reason, you can do this real-time in the editor and see how it will look in the game. Now as nice as this is, I'm not into a psychedelic uh, drugs, so it's not working for me. So we're going to uh, go back to the asset. Uh, I'm going to put the original colour back, which I think is that one. And if I apply that, save it, jump back in the editor. Hey presto, we're back to normal. Um, now, one other important aspect: uh, when you are messing with the SSIs, you need to make sure you've got your SSI specified on a certain texture. So if I press 9, I've gone too far. So you can see all these sort of suns on this texture here. If I select that, um, look at the entity info, here you are light state 1, SSI 1, and I'm using my, my, my one I was editing just in here called MP Sector Wacker. Now there are options for other light states, I haven't started to look into those yet, but when I do I'll let you know how all that hangs together. Um, while I'm at it, I'll open up my uh, other test construct. Uh, no, I don't particularly want to save that, and no I don't want to copy that. Um, it's just a little bit better. I was saying I really wish I could compile and show you me running around the game. Well. Luckily, I don't need to even compile now, that saves a lot of aggravation. Uh, so, if I press F9, we're now viewing it as a player would view, uh, albeit with a free camera, in the in the uh, map that I've made. And it's only a couple of rooms, as you well know. Now, I've done a little bit more play with spotlights and so on, a few more bits of texturing going on. So, we, we have some spots, and even a spotlight that's uh, currently broken. Uh, what I have found, if you can see the light doesn't look very good on there, but on there it looks a little bit better. I'm still experimenting with how best to display these because uh, there, there are various things we can do. If I come out of real time lighting, so if we go up here, if I align this, uh, I can move it out and in and out. I was trying to get it to match. Now, if I change some of the values, I will be able to get it to look like it's fitting uh, the circle properly, which will look a lot better. Um, I am though a little bit worried about the blue line there but I'm going to work on that, it's probably uh, easy enough to fix I'm still experimenting with these lights but the spots do look really nice and if we go back into F9 
here we can see the spots shining down it, it looks really nice um, and again when you start looking in these rooms uh, the shadows working well the real time lighting's working well everything just looks really good now I got excited about the FX being able to play in the editor being able to do this I cannot tell you and everybody will realize when they see all these sort of things this just saves so much time because the old way is if you're in COD War or if you're in COD 4 or whatever else of a radiance it was laborious to see how the lighting was really going to look or the uh, world box settings were going to look you had to compile the game now if you had a really complex large map with a lot of lighting in that compile time could take forever in a day now I don't have to worry about that I only have to press one key and I can see this lighting this is uber this is like the business and uh, the, the guys at Treyarch uh, you know they, they really have delivered with this tool so uh, I can't thank them enough for giving the opportunity to test this um, and all I can say is be excited the more I am using it and I keep saying this the better it gets we are going to see some quality maps that's all I can say because I know there are a lot of people out there who already make what I consider professional looking maps uh, and with these tools uh, you're going to go to a whole new level you know the, this this is going to be uh, the pinnacle of radiant editing and uh, the COD series is going to go on and on with this you know give, give the tools to the users and we are going to make some brilliant stuff that's it really, I just wanted to show off the fact that I found the F9 key and I'm really happy, yay, cool, bit crazy, I think I deserve a coffee or a glass of wine now because uh, I've got too giddy and I need to calm down. Right, ta-ta for now, thanks guys, bye.